Hi there everyone, my name is Kylie Warren and this is my career informative speech. So, have you ever been to the doctor? Or the emergency room? Most likely, you have came into contact with a nurse. So, in the United States today, there are over 4 million registered nurses, making one in every 100 people a registered nurse. So, my thesis was, nurses are the backbone of our healthcare system, and they provide not only physical, but emotional care and work side by side with doctors and help diagnose and treat their patients at the whole time that they are spent either in the doctor's office or in the hospital. So for my first main topic, I'm gonna to talk about what is nursing? So everybody associates Florence Nightingale as the first nurse. So Florence Nightingale was a woman of British high class who led other British women in aiding British troops who had fought in a war. So she also established the Nightingale School of Nursing in London in 1860 and has set a standard of care and um, cleanliness that came along with care that was taught in her nursing school. So then we get into the main topic of, well, what do nurses do? So nurses work alongside doctors in not only treatment, but diagnosis. So they see the patient from when they come into the hospital and to when they are discharged, and they are the ones who have the most patient interaction. So nurses have a scope of practice they're allowed to practice in, which is basically a set of tasks they are allowed to fulfill. So nurses are allowed to draw blood, start IVs, pass medications, all of those things that Lower ranked, such as CNAs, which I am planning on getting my CNA, cannot work and do. So in saying that, if a nurse does not follow this strict scope of practice that they are allowed to work in, this could end up either in termination, the loss of their nursing license, or even a lawsuit if it is big enough. So in saying that, how do you become a nurse? So to become a nurse, you can either start at the very beginning and start with your CNA, become a certified nursing assistant, which is what I am working towards getting right now. And I love it. And so a CNA works closely with a nurse and they are given tasks by their nurse that they are to fulfill during the day. So CNAs also work under a scope of practice, just like nurses do. And then you have your ADNs, which is a registered nurse that has a associate's degree, which is a two-year degree, or your BSN, which is a registered nurse that has a four-year degree, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, which is what I am working towards when I go to college. So then you can also go on to be camp, become a, um, you can have a master's degree in nursing, which you can either become a nurse practitioner, which is what I one day aim to become, a CRN, CRNA, or a um, midwife. So a nurse practitioner is very similar to a physician's assistant. They are allowed to pass meds and are more independent than a normal um, nurse, but they still do work underneath a doctor's care. So then you can go on to get your doctor of nursing practice, which is does not make you a doctor, but you are a very highly educated nurse. And then you can also go on to get your PhD in nursing if you choose to do so. So then that brings me to my next topic. What's the difference in doctors and nurses? So doctors and nurses have a very varied amount of time that they spend in school. So doctors go in for four years of undergrad and then are followed by three years of medical school and then at least three years of residency and then can go on to even one or two more years of fellowship if they decide to specialize in an area. So nursing can, you can become a nurse in two years, you can become a nurse in four years. It depends which route you want to take. But most people tend to go and get their BSN just because a bachelor in science of nursing gets you more money than a associate's degree. So doctors have a lot more schooling than nurses, but that's not to say that nurses aren't as important as doctors. Doctors just get the final say. Nurses are allowed to have input on what happens to the patient, the patient's care, the treatment, and what they have going on with them and their diagnosis, but overall the doctor has the final say because of their many more years of nursing. I mean schooling, sorry. <laughs> so in conclusion, 
Nurses do a whole lot more than we think they do, and nurses don't get enough credit for what they do. They're the ones who spend majority of the time with us, and they're the ones that actually take care of us and are in our rooms more constantly, and are they're overseeing their patients all the time while doctors come in and out and get report from the nurses. So the next time that you see a nurse, Thank them for the work that they do and what they do for all of us to keep us healthy and keep our community in check and make sure that all of us are living our best lives. That is my career informative speech. Thank you guys for listening.